Hello students, welcome back. So we have completed the half of the unit of unit number two, that is dissolution of foam. So we have discussed what are the entries to be passed on dissolution of a foam. Now we are coming to the second and last part of this unit number two, that is sale to a company. Sometimes a partnership firm is converted into a company. Partnership firm is converted into a company. That means the, there is a dissolution of partnership firm and or the business of partnership firm will be taken over by the company. You know, technically it will be called a sale to a company. So the procedure of uh, closing the accounts of uh, firm dissolved will be the same as dissolution of firm. Just now, uh, previous session we have discussed what are the entries to be passed on dissolution of a firm. The same treatment will be applied in the case of sale to a company. Now purchase consideration. Purchase consideration is the price payable by the purchasing company to the partnership firm. It is the price payable for the business taken over. That is called purchase consideration. So purchase consideration, there are different methods applied for calculating the purchase consideration, how much price the company has to pay to the firm. The first method is lump sum method. Where in this case, the purchasing company will declare a fixed amount, lump sum amount will be quoted to the firm and that amount will be pay, paid. Example, ABC company has acquired some PQR firm. So earlier, earlier it was a PQR firm. Now it is being converted into XYZ company. Now how much price? The XYZ company has uh, agreed to pay for 10 lakh rupees for purchasing the firm purchasing the firm. This 10 lakh rupees lump sum amount is called the purchase consideration. So lump sum amount. Second net payment method. This net payment method will be given, will be applied whenever the purchasing company has specified all the different forms of payment. Example, the purchasing company has given that 5 lakh rupees cash will be paid. 10 lakh rupees equity shares will be issued. Some 2 lakh rupees debentures will be issued. So different forms of payment will be given. Simply you have to add up how much cash is paid, how much shares are issued, how much debentures are issued. This is called net payment method. Net assets method. If some payment, uh, some, if some mode of payment is missing, for example, cash is missing or shares is, is missing, in that case we apply net assets method. In this net, net assets method, we find out the net worth of the partnership firm. How to calculate the net worth? Take the total of all the assets minus the total of all outside liabilities. Agreed value of all assets minus agreed value of all liabilities. Then we'll get the purchase consideration. So normally purchase consideration when it is received from the company, it will be in the form of cash, in the form of shares or debentures. If the cash, shares or debentures are received, in the absence of any agreement, the shares and debentures received will be distributed to the partners in their old profit sharing ratio. And the remaining balance will be paid in cash. Now, we are coming to the next point called journal entries in the books of the firm. Just now I told the journal entries in case of dissolution, the same general entries will be applied in case of sale to a company. The first general entry is for transfer of assets to realization. So a realization account is made. Transfer all the assets to realization. Entry will be realization account data to all individual assets at their book values. Cash and bank balance will not be transferred. Huh? If cash and bank balance are taken over by the company, then cash and bank balance will also be transferred. So you have to see whether cash and balance is taken over by purchasing company or not. If it is taken over, transfer it to realization. If cash and bank balance are not taken over, don't transfer it to realization. Second is for transfer of liabilities to realization. Liabilities account data or provision account data to realization. Liabilities ko debit karenge, provision ko debit karenge, realization ko credit karenge. Same entry. Third entry is for PC receivable. The purchase consideration has to be received by the firm from the purchasing company. So entry will be purchasing company account data to realization. PC due card. 
The first entry transfer of all assets to realization. Second entry transfer all liabilities to realization. Third entry will be PC due. Purchasing company account data are to realization. This is PC due. Next PC received. So we debit all the different forms of payments received. Cash account data. Shares in purchasing company account data. Debentures in purchasing company account data. To purchasing company. So here in third entry purchasing company was debited purchasing company account data to realization so in fourth entry purchasing company will be credited and debit will be given to the different forms of payment cash account data shares account data debentures account data to purchasing company next entry will be for sale of those assets which are not taken over by purchasing company some assets are there which are not taken over by the purchasing company these assets are sold. So entry will be bank account data to realization. Bank account data to realization. If some assets are not taken over by the purchasing company. For payment of those liabilities which are not taken over by purchasing company. Agar koi liabilities bhi hai, jo purchasing company nahi li. To wo liabilities ko payment karna hai. To entry will be realization account data to bank. Realization account data to bank for payment of realization expenses same entry realization expenses account data to bank next is for profit on realization after passing this uh, one two three four five six entries seven entries after passing these seven entries we have to close the realization account the realization account may show profit or it may show loss if credit side is more debit side is less there is a realization profit the entry for realization profit is realization account data to all partners capital account in the profit sharing ratio. Agar loss agar ho gaya, debit side realization is more than credit side. Then all partners capital account data are to realization in the profit sharing ratio. Same entry. Then for transfer of accumulated profits and reserves. Of accumulated profits and reserves like just like in the partnership form balance sheet, we will have general reserve, reserve fund or profit and loss account credit balance. These are called accumulated profits and reserves. This should be transferred to partner's capital account. Entry will be general reserve account data or reserve fund account data or PNL account data to partner's capital account in the old profit sharing ratio. Agar accumulated profit ke wajay, accumulated loss agar hai, in a partnership form, mein asset side ke upar PNL account debit balance agar diya hua hai, to this is called accumulated loss. It will be transferred to partner's capital account, A's capital account data, B's capital account data, C's capital account data to PNL account. To pahle PNL account debit balance bata raha tha, ab credit kar dena hai usko. Debit kisko karenge? Partner's capital account. Agar loss raha to. Next uh, for transfer. For payment of partner's loan, agar partnership Okay, liability side, liability side of the balance sheet, there is a partner's loan that will be paid off. So entry will be partner's loan account data to bank. Last entry will be for distribution of cash, shares or debentures to partners. Abhi jo purchase consideration aya tha, that purchase consideration will be distributed among the partners. Cash dena hai, partner's capital account data to cash. Agar shares bhi hai, so partners capital account data to shares, partners capital account data to debentures. So whatever is being paid that will be credited and partners capital account will be debited. By passing this entry, the all the accounts of firm will get closed. Partners account will get closed, cash account, shares, debentures, all the accounts will get closed. So these are the entries to be passed when the partnership firm is sold to a company. So almost the entries are similar on dissolution of firm and on sale to a company. Similar entries are there. So don't know, not only you have to remember the entries, but also you have to remember the sequence. Which entry will come first, which entry will come next. Sequence you have to remember. Once and final last time we'll discuss for transfer of assets. Realization account data to assets account. For transfer of liabilities. Liabilities account data, provision account data to realization. For PC due, purchasing company account data to realization. 
then for PC receipt, cash account data and uh, shares in purchasing company account data, debentures in purchasing company account data to purchasing company. The giver, credit the giver, the giver is purchasing company. So cash account data, shares in purchasing company account data, debentures in purchasing company account data to purchasing company. This is the entry for PC received. PC received. For sale of those assets, other koi asset hai, ye compulsory nahi hai. These four entries are compulsory. One, two, three, four. First four entries are compulsory in every problem. The fifth entry is for sale of those assets. Agar koi assets bache hue hai jo purchasing company nahi li, to those assets will be sold in the market. Then the entry will be bank account data to realization. Usi tarah liabilities. अगर कोई लायबिलिटी है जो परचेजिंग कंपनी नहीं ली तो वो लायबिलिटी को पे करना है तो रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट डेटा टू बैंक बट दिस टू एंट्रीज विल डिपेंड वेदर एसेट्स आर देयर व्हिच आर नॉट टेकन ओवर लायबिलिटीज आर देयर व्हिच आर नॉट टेकन ओवर देन ओनली दिस एंट्री विल कम फॉर पेमेंट ऑफ रियलाइजेशन नॉर्मली एवरी टाइम रियलाइजेशन एक्सपेंसेस विल बी देयर दैट विल बी पेड रियलाइजेशन एक्सपेंसेस अकाउंट डेटा टू बैंक फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑन रियलाइजेशन रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट डेटा to all partners capital account loss agar raha to all partners capital account data to realization next comes for transfer of accumulated profits agar general reserve reserve fund pnl account hai to general reserve account data to all partners capital account reserve fund hai to reserve fund account data to all partners capital account pnl account balance hai liability side accumulated profit pnl account data to all partners capital account agar loss agar hai asset side ke upar प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेबिट बैलेंस अगर दिया हुआ है तो ऑल पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट डेटा टू पीएनएल अकाउंट ये एक्यूमेट हो देन पेमेंट ऑफ पार्टनर्स लोन पार्टनर्स लोन अकाउंट डेटा टू बैंक लास्ट वन सेटलमेंट ऑफ अकाउंट ऑफ पार्टनर्स तो पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट डेटा टू कैश टू शेयर्स ऑफ परचेजिंग कंपनी टू डिबेंचर्स ऑफ परचेजिंग कंपनी दिस इज द कंप्लीट थ्योरेटिक थ्योरी एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ यूनिट नंबर 2 राइट Now, in the next video, we'll start the problems on this dissolution of firm and sale to a company. This unit, unit number two, is not as lengthy as unit number one. In unit number one, we have more problems, more different issues are there. But in this, this is very simple. The only thing is you have to remember the general entries. Remember the general entries. I'll provide. the complete theory as well as problems in the link below you can take the problems first of all before starting the problems you must have a hard copy you must have a print out of the problems if you have the textbook of rp trividhi by pankaj publications then it's well and good if you don't have then take out a print they take a print out of those problems in the link and always be ready with the problem when i explain the problem you must see the problem carefully and then understand i'll solve it on the board okay then till then it's clear now huh? so we'll start the problems in the next video